as promised, here is some workout footage for this week. And what I tried to do is just put some highlights in here. This is Monday. Now what we wanted to do is work up to some heavy sets. We have lowered the rest intervals substantially, which is something we are not used to. Uh, for the first three warm-up sets, uh, which yeah. is 135, yeah. 225, and yeah. 315, we are not allowing any breaks other than Glenn goes, I go, and then we swap the weights. You can see Glenn here struggling a little bit on his second rep. Once we get heavy like this, he gets one minute after I go of rest, and then we go again. So I am here now with 405. Now this is the first time back squatting for both Glenn and I since I did my 500 pound squat back in June. So I am definitely out of practice. You can see a little bit of wobbling there. I'm not using my knee sleeves. Just wanted to get a feel for it. After three reps, I called it good. And just to put it in here to show how much I've slowed down and how out of practice I am, I did go ahead and try 425. And look at that, it was just slow. It didn't feel really good. But we did a little bit more uh, squat work there. Then we went to the farmer's picks, and this is the top set for Glenn and I just wanted to show you we are trying to get some reps in as well uh, trying to build as much strength or maintain as much strength as we can while also getting way more reps and a lot more cardio we want to keep that heart rate up as I said we're trying to diet here so trying to bring down the weight and not lose our strength Glenn there uh, just got one rep and I put this in here because I decided to go for this just because try and hold a little bit at the end uh, felt pretty good and now you can see here I'm wearing the slingshot uh, real reason I'm wearing the slingshot is because I want Mark Bell to sponsor me uh, <laughs> wouldn't that be nice but as I mentioned rotator cuff injury is messing with me and the only way I can bench is with a slingshot so this is our top set here um, for reps and again with, with benching no rest intervals just back forth back forth and uh, we were doing 20 pound jumps on each one of these so this is our top set and then we went and did a couple of reps now at the end of this workout we did do some arm work but nobody needs to watch that you guys know what arm work looks like so didn't want to do that as that is a waste of time we were supposed to work out wednesday glenn had some car problems so we came in thursday and here is our rep set of deadlifts with 405 pounds and this is the first time deadlifting back with a normal bar since I want to say very early July our hands are definitely a little bit out of practice with the sharp knurling uh, and we've been using straps and we've been doing that uh, lean back on the deadlift due to the apparatus so it's definitely something we've got to get back into get used to I can tell you that I am just so happy that I'm able to push the bar away from me so I can breathe again oh it just feels so right and uh, I was kind of surprised that these reps went up so easy and the reason I ended up quitting on this was my hands were just done it was pretty brutal I was very raw and uh, just digging into my skin tearing off a little bit of the outer skin layer there and then we decided to do uh, one last set kind of unplanned here with 455 the idea was pull as many as you can but when you know you can't do another one hold it up there for as long as you can get some grip work in there I know this is mixed grip uh, I'm not pulling this weight without a mixed grip but that still does work the grip and grip is something I really want to make sure we're working on um, during this period here because I don't want to fail in a farmer's walk due to chalk I'd rather have just my hands be strong enough that I don't even need chalk so I decided to go for uh, three reps before I called it quits and went to the grip and I definitely didn't hold it up there as long as Glenn and this is something I'm just really loving getting back into. These are banded box squats. And 
for those of you who watch Clint Darden, you know he's a big fan of these. And I just love these. Uh, it lets you work on speed, explosiveness, really overload the top of the movement. And uh, we double banded it up. So the green, green bands are supposed to be 65 pounds each and the blue bands are 50 pounds each. I think it's a little bit less than that. But that walkout for me was very heavy. And uh, I did do the weight that Glenn did, and I decided to go up. You can see there, though, I'm not quite as fast now that the weight's super heavy. But I'm pretty happy with how it was moving, how it was feeling. Uh, did another set after this, and uh, really enjoyed it. And we definitely did some circuit work on Thursday. It was, uh, again, interesting trying to add all that high rep cardio in there. On Friday, we go into the benching, and what we decided to do today, so I didn't have to try and wear a slingshot, is do high paused pin presses. And uh, this right here is 275. And I do not like how that went up. Both of us are out of practice a little bit. And we had done a couple of sets before that, decided to go back down here with 245 and see how many reps we could do and it was pretty much all we had believe it or not after we did this we did uh, some arm work and that's something that I have not been doing got some circuit work in between tricep press downs with the pulley and some preacher curls so that was pretty interesting I definitely definitely need to work on my endurance and keep pushing on this but hopefully we'll, we'll keep getting better at it let me know if you guys want to see some of the circuits we're doing otherwise i'm just going to keep it to the compound lifts keep it in there and unfortunately you're going to see a lot of benching because i can't overhead press but that is it for this workout as always take it easy go lift something heavy